the Mueller report comes out, no obstruction, no collusion. Well, then what do we do? Well, we're going to have these hearings. So they had, I think, two so far. What happened in those hearings? Nobody tuned in. Why did nobody tune in? Because the report itself is incomprehensible. Wow, well, there's Jay Sekulow, attorney for the president, sounding off on Democratic-led hearings on the Mueller report that are expected on Wednesday of next week. Now, there's a House committee vote on whether or not to authorize more subpoenas. Subpoenas for 12 more witnesses connected to the Mueller matter. Uh, that hearing begins in a few minutes from now. Ranking member Republican Doug Collins out of Georgia, he'll be there today. You'll be there next Wednesday. Sir, thank you for your time and for being here today. I see Michael Flynn, Jared Kushner, Corey Lewandowski, Jeff Sessions, among about eight others. Does anyone appear at any point I, soon? I tell you I tell you the problem we have here, Bill, is the circus continues. This has become nothing but a circus show for the last six months. And I'm really beginning to wonder if the chairman and maybe other parts of the Democratic side slept through law school when they determined what a subpoena actually is. What's really interesting is, is many of these people have never been contacted before. This is the very first time they've even been contacted that we're getting a subpoena. Some have actually provided documents in, in, in return for their uh, cooperating with the committee on the 81 letters, which has been, you know, just done away with. They're getting another subpoena. This is simply because they had a bad couple of weeks in the press when they left here on immigration and other things, and they're trying to retake uh, the narrative, and they're doing so by subpoena. Okay, so do you, um, do you think the Mueller hearing happens next Wednesday? Is, as far is as that, I know it does right now. Is that right in now. doubt? I don't think, well, I think it's in doubt that, that our, my committee his chairman has decided to give away basically our authority to talk to uh, Robert Mueller and also he seems to be rolled by the Intel Committee on this because the time frame of only one hour right now is all we've been given to, to ask on both sides is not enough. In fact, it actually breaks House rules of the five minute rule for a hearing. So I'm not sure what the, has happened here, but in their desperation to get to something that they think they can hold on to, it's at least going forward as far as we know at this okay, point. Okay, so just so our viewers know, the way I understand it, two committees are going to come together at different times on Wednesday. It'll be two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. Is, is that settled? Do you know? Uh, well, considering I've heard about 14 different stories from the Democrats from the time it was leaked to the press and not to me as the ranking member that this hearing was actually going to be happening, we've heard a lot of different stories. But at this point in time, that's what it looks like. We're going to start around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, go for our two hours. Okay, then here's adjourn, my question to you then. You got a 448-page <laughs> report. Bob Mueller could read from the report. He could reference different pages. Uh, let's, <laughs> let, let's see what he does. But w what is your first question? I think the first question is, is you know, what you got to look at is, 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 does he still confirm the report's findings, which is what he did already. And I think when you get to that point, then we also understand his investigation is closed, so there's no new information that should be coming out here. These are the kind of things that we just need to frame the fact that the report, as he, Muster Mueller said himself, it speaks for itself. And that means there was no collusion, there was no charge of obstruction. It's now time for, if the Democrats have something, it's on them to show this. Mueller has spoken as he has said. Okay, you're the ranking member in the morning. The ranking member in the afternoon is Devin Nunes from California. Uh, I did a podcast with him late yesterday. It'll be posted a little later today. Uh, he was breathing fire, and uh, he, had a, he had a long list of questions. But in the end, this is, this is what he concludes as to why all this matter needs to be cleared up. Uh, and this is significant, too. Just listen to what he said. These are all a bunch of dirty cops. And, and I'll tell you, some of them better go to jail or we're going to go down in a spiral in this country because you will not have a Republican that, that will trust the FBI or the Department of Justice for generations to come. And, and he went on from there, called them dirty cops, as you just heard, won't trust the FBI in a generation. Is, is, that, is that the feeling on the Republican side? I think we've had these, you know, these feelings before. I've been on your show and talked about that corrupt cabal of Shrug, Page, and McCabe and Comey, who all were at the start of this. I think this is where the Bill Barr's investigation and with this going on with Mr. Durham and also the IG's report that's going to come out. And look, I, when it comes to these issues, those are being investigated. I support the Attorney General because those have to be asked. But as, you know, as far as it comes to the Mueller investigation and what Mr. Mueller is going to say next week, I'm an old country lawyer. I'm not going to give away my questions beforehand because I want him to have to answer those questions as they come. But I'm as fed up with what we have seen seen over the past two years from the administration under President Obama who allowed this stuff to happen and then that built on there. Those will be things that will come out and are being investigated. Yeah, is Wednesday a bombshell or is Wednesday a dud? What do you think? 
I, you know, I think it's whatever people want to make it. I think at the end of the day, it's going to say exactly what it was, that nothing is there, nothing uh, happened. The Democrats are banking everything. This is their closing statement, and their closing statement will fall flat. The president, it was, it was cleared in this. There's no collusion, no charge destruction. It's time to now say, why did you not do other things? It's maybe time for Mueller to have to answer why he didn't do some things in this report. We, we That's are, what we're going to be focused on. We are waiting to hear what the negotiations are behind closed doors <laughs> and what they come up with, and I hope you come back before uh, next Wednesday. Doug Collins, thank you. And to viewers, listeners at home, you can check out that podcast posted later today, Fox News Radio and also on iTunes all the time. Doug Collins, thank you, the Republican from Georgia.